Hey guys, putting here with a replay in my Battle Kamikaze R on New Dawn. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more about what I do than uh, straight out like strategy, but I kind of want to get this out of the way early. Normally the North team goes to A, the Southern team goes to C, and there's a fight over B. Uh, now, the other thing is, I'm going to kill three enemy ships with my guns. The other thing is, the aircraft carrier is going to fly his planes over me and never once try to kill me. It's a bad mistake on his part. Should have at least done that. So, spoiler alert there, the Bogue is running a strike loadout. Now, the other thing is, this stupid notion that low-tier German, or low-tier German, low-tier Japanese guns are bad is stupid. Yes, they turn slow, and I grant you they don't have a, a higher rate of fire like the U.S. and Russia. But they are still good guns, and they hit hard. But what you need to do is you need to use them like the U.S. destroyers use their torpedoes. Use islands and use concealment to your advantage to get within gun range to use them. You need to use them on low health ships whenever you can. You also need to use them sort of like the Russian destroyers and get some distance between you and a, uh, and a U.S. ship. Don't get into a long-range gunfight with a Russian destroyer because you probably will not win it because both of you kind of have to maintain your same heading in order to get the guns on a plate because your turrets just don't turn fast enough until you get to the higher turrets. At least for the Russians, you get the nice uh, turret turrets. But, like I'm saying, you know, this... These guns are good guns. Use them. If an enemy ship is spotted and you know you can shoot at him and, and take Smoke him out, screen set. do it. It benefits you and it benefits your team. Opportunity number one for the carrier. Flies his bombers over with. Doesn't do anything. He should have dropped his bombs on me and dropped his torps on the battleship. A solo cap A. Kind of out here by myself because the enemy carrier did get the uh, cruiser to turn and the battleship to turn to potentially slow down. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see on this side, we have an enemy battleship, an enemy cruiser, and an enemy destroyer. Now, the gentleman that got, that was going into B, is dealing with the enemy destroyer. I am trying to torp the enemy battleship. And he is either A turning because he was a little bit a broadside to the battleship uh, or because the planes had spotted my torpedoes and he's going to just try to dodge all of them. He is coming under concentrated fire from the cruiser and the battleship along with me torping. So this guy is going to be a little bit active in trying to stay angled against the battleship while trying to dodge my torps. Drop my second salvo and he starts turning because he doesn't want to pull an after and run into the island. So I drop my last salvo to where I think he's going to be. Now at this point I'm deciding should I go around the island or should I swing back around and engage the enemy cruiser who's probably going to assume I'm just going to keep dropping torps on the battleship. But the biggest threat to me right now is the cruiser. The battleship's ignoring me and the carrier is ignoring me. And as you can see, these two torpedoes are going to hit force out his damage control. So now if there's a fire, uh, now if somebody causes a fire, it's going to stick and burn him down. Turning my ship around, I don't know why the replay showing I selected the battleship. I selected the enemy the cruiser as my primary target. Drop my torpedoes according to the lead indicator. Now I've got to hit the speed boost because I don't have smoke. I've got to get unspotted. This is not a 15-point captain. 
this guy I'm training for when uh, the new Japanese destroyers come out. I have a guy with the concealment uh, just to see if I like any of the new ships. One, two, three torpedoes. A goodbye, Sally. A nice job paying attention to the destroyer that was spotted. Swinging back around to deal with the enemy battleship and the enemy deity. And this is where I'm saying you use like hit and run tactics. Now this enemy destroyer should know I'm over here, but he doesn't know where I'm going to go. Looks like he pulled an answer, or he just stopped to back up to try to help continually cap. And nobody's within torp range, but they are well within gun range. <clears throat> gonna take a shot at the destroyer but nope he disappears so now I'm trying to swing to get my guns into play on an enemy battleship I just didn't do it fast enough to hit the camp reset the Nicholas is respotted and turning around so I'm gonna drop torpedoes randomly in hopes that this guy makes a mistake and runs into them and I get spotted staying without his torpedo range so he doesn't do that and for some reason, he's not shooting me. What is this guy thinking? You're a U.S. destroyer. You excel at killing Japanese destroyers. Rate of fire. Close the distance. I was close enough. Get 600 damage done to him. And not a single lick back. What a bonehead move by him. I get the enemy carrier spotted. Can care less. Need to take out this battleship. He's well within the health pool that these guns can take him out in one or two salvos. Do 600 damage. He's left at 1100 damage. Hopefully these will finish him off. And Kaplow finish him off with the apparently bad Japanese guns. These guns are good. You should use them. But you need to use them in the right situation. Going to <clears throat> going to ignore the carrier because he's ignoring me. I need to get back to A because I want to stop these guys from Torpedoes getting points. Astern. I also need to close the Torpedoes distance to between me and Nicholas. And here comes torpedoes because this Nicholas seems to be going YOLO against the battleship, and I need to save <clears throat> the battleship. If I can have another ship for these guys to kind of focus on. That is good for me. It's also good because the battleship's alive and he can do a lot of damage. Now, now Nicholas was kind enough to leave his smoke for me, which I'm going to use. I'm going to take a shot at him in his smoke so he doesn't see me. Friendly battleship gets a nice hit on him. And boom, enemy there goes blown up. the enemy destroyer once again to the apparently a bad guts. They are not. Use them. But you have to use them in the right situation. <clears throat> now, there were two enemy destroyers last spotted in this area. So I'm using the smoke cloud to try to mask me from the enemy destroyers while I get this cap. And oh no, here comes the enemy destroyer. It's going to drop torps. Luckily, he misses. See, screw dropping torps. So I swing back around, drop my smoke, get this thing recapped, swing my ship around, and drop torps on where I think this gentleman is going to be at. These things reload fast, use them. Notice the uh, other destroyer is more by B dealing with this situation over there. And once again, this enemy aircraft carrier just ignores me. But more importantly, I've got to kill this enemy, DD. And as you can see, he had some good health. But this guy's not using his guns properly. And oh great, I pull a Notzer at the absolute worst time. <coughs> this guy shows that he does use his guns. It's just not very good good with them and the enemy had torpedo plates over it, and he easily could have dropped them and potentially done a lot of damage or killed me but nope he's still going for the battleship 
He has yet to kill. Why this guy completely ignored me is a mystery I don't think the universe will ever Smoke cloud equals three things. Torpedo magnet, a thing that shoots and sets battleships on fires, and torpedoes battleships. So, you gotta kill the smoke cloud as fast as possible, and hopefully get the destroyer too. They're going in. I need to go in. I need to advance to give the uh, to give the battleship any sort of warning if torpedoes are coming. Don't know why this guy never spot, uh, shot while we were both clearly spotted. And boom! And enemy there goes the enemy destroyer, it. probably sitting still. Uh, don't know why. It, if you're going to sit still in your smoke. Don't do it. Not a good idea. Or at least try to get your ship turned around to where you can run away for when your smoke dissipates and you're spotted just sitting there high and dry. See the enemy, Mizkazi? He's coming towards me. I'm going to close distance towards him because he's actively running away from the three ships that are chasing him. Notice he's on fire, sitting at four kills, and I just want that crack. And so, yes. I'm going to fire my guns and steal this kill. But this is what I say about range. These shells actually can't make it at range. I do have advanced fire training on this captain to get these guns that little bit of extra range. I can't stealth fire this in this ship, but on my Kagero and on my Shimakaze, I can. And oh great, here comes dive bombers we have three caps they're not they have six points uh, this thing just completely melted and once again ignoring me nobody has even shot at me or done any damage whatsoever enemy cruiser ignored me bad mistake he paid the price Nicholas ignored me paid the price the Masuki, the guy probably didn't know how to shoot because he never shot because most people don't shoot at these lower tiers. You need to learn how to use your guns on these destroy, uh, with these destroyers at the lower tiers. It will help you out in higher tiers. The enemy Bogue is not going to last long with everybody shooting at, me, at him. Friendly Torps. I'm trying to close the distance to try to get that final kill, but I am not. Sadly enough, uh, I won't get the kill, but our carrier does, and now the post battle results. 62,000 damage done, crack and unleashed, devastating strike, and people say battleships are the only ones who drive in straight lines are wrong. 2300 base experience, five ships sent to the bottom of the sea, three of which done with the horrendous guns that people say are bad. Nice bit of money because nobody wanted to shoot at me, which is always a great day. But as you can see here, most of my damage did come from my torpedoes. But I did get damage done with my guns, did cause some fires. So use those guns, they can save your life at times. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Please keep those replays coming and have a great day.